You dropped something. Sorry about that. Couldn't get rest. So instead you got yourself drunk until you passed out. Makes sense. And I see you had some good company. No wonder you couldn't resist. Mudflap, wake up. Mudflap! I didn't do it. It wasn't me. I swear to promise. You all right? Uh, yeah. Just a bit dizzy is all. You know, it ain't your fault what happened. It ain't none of our faults. You shouldn't be blaming yourselves. Let me tell you that again. Hey guys. Good morning. You doing okay, Hotshot? You don't look so hot. Yeah, uh, just a little pain in the chest. Not that bad. Gotta get some rest yourself, macho. So, what's going on here? We were down here talking about war stories all night. Oh, is that what we was doing? All I remember is us running about the fact that we're gonna die out here. Honestly, I think we can all use a good story. Something to get our minds off things for now. Cool ourselves down a bit. That's actually not that bad of an idea. How did you get over him? Sorry? Bumblebee, I mean. Losing someone so close to you, you feel this deep, emotional, mental, even literal cut from them. Like, they're not just dead, but long gone and forgotten forever. And yet, still getting over. I did it. You never do. And really? You never should. Like, you can move forward, sure. You can find ways to be happy, regardless of what happened. But that doesn't mean you should ever forget them, or ever need to. I'll be honest, if I was the one that died, and B is the one mourning me, I'd be pretty pissed off if he ever just got over me. No one does that. Even if you drive every last cord of your body to believe it. You can never let them go. And that's the sad thing about it. But I feel so closely connected to both of them. They're gone. Honestly, I'm surprised it took this long for the realization to settle in for you. I mean, I know you hardly remembered everything when you got your major overhaul, but... I don't know. I guess you could say Alita and Chromia both live on inside you, both figuratively and literally. I can't stop thinking about the day watching Alita die in front of me after feeling Chromia die far off without even being able to say goodbye. Hey, hey. Hey. It's okay. B and I never really had that many awesome adventures together here on Earth before he passed. The most we did together was really sit on a roof and rant about Long Arm. At least you had some recent good memories with them. We didn't exactly get much time to bond here either. I'm not talking about here. Ah, Skid! It's good to see you, my friend. Yeah, you too. Hey, actually, can we talk for a second? Anything for an old friend. I need to know. Has there been any word from Willjack and the others? No. I've lost contact with them. The only thing I know for sure is they aren't here anymore. How much Energon do they take with them? Hardly any that I saw. But we need to keep everything on the down low for now. I know. Come on, then. Evax got something to tell us. I thought I'd give some words for the four who we lost. I never knew Roadbuster, Topspin, or Dino Mirage that well. But Red Alert and I actually were friends. I knew him for years. In fact, I was thinking I could share a story with you all. <laughs> Why'd you fall over?
you realize he's probably never gonna get better from the state where he is in now. Not now, Skyquake! I'm serious, dude. This isn't healthy. His brain isn't functioning. You don't know that! Yeah, I do. I can tell. I just... His spark is still in there. And his body is completely new! He can't be dead! And since he can hold a stance for a while and hasn't gone cold, I can't just throw away hope! Hope? He isn't cold yet because his body is still warm with the power of the Star Saber. You don't understand! It's not like you have a brother you care about! You think I can never forget about Dreadwing? He and I fought this war for eons! But... All that changed because of me. Funny, I could say the same thing with my circumstance. Can you? You weren't the one who did it, though. Did what? You ever wonder why I never use my blade? Well then, anyone here got a story they'd like to talk about? Don't you remember before we came here? Just after we passed Mars. We were on our way to Earth when it happened. Yeah, I do. The last battle me and him were a part of together. Wait, I remember hearing about this. It's when we were still in space heading for this planet, right? Well, here's the thing. We were on our way here to meet up with Optimus Prime and his crew. But why? What does it have to do with anything? Absolutely nothing, really. But I always like to think and talk about my past experiences with Bumblebee. It makes him feel alive to me. And as emotional as you can get when talking about them, it can really help you heal. Actually, I think me and Hotshot both have one. Oh no, please don't be the one on the Ark. You're damn right. They were severely outnumbered. We were their backup plan, but most of you here were actually in another ship, unable to aid us. So we had to play this one solo. I think we would all like to hear the story. So... What happened exactly? What do you think happened? You want to give it a try? <sighs> sure. Fine. Receiving incoming transmission. I wish to board your vessel. If you surrender now, no one gets hurt. But refuse, and we will do so with force. We'll hook you up with the captain of this ship. A wise decision, Autobot. Transmission ended. We need to inform Rodimus. The Ark can sustain heavy damage from the Earth's atmosphere if we're not careful. So I have ordered Sideswipe Squad to go down there with our space bridge. I do sincerely apologize for interrupting, Commander, but we have a dire situation at hand. What do you want, Perceptor? Can't you see I'm busy? Sir, it's the Decepticons. They have a message for the captain of this ship. What do they want? Make it quick, then. Rodimus, I strongly suggest you keep your guard. The Decepticons cannot know the location of Megatron or Optimus. <laughs> Infamous Commander Rodimus, it is truly a pleasure. Spare me the formal talk, buddy. Just tell me what you want before my ship riddles yours with holes the size of Cybertron's moon. <laughs> my, my. Aren't we a little feisty today? Enough of your games, Decepticon. Deliver your message, then be gone. Oh, I'm afraid I cannot do that. You see, your ship is in my way, and we are where you have something we want. The location of your leader, and ours. I see. Well, what makes you think I'm the type to just step out of your way? Ah, as usual, your self-centered mindset clouds your judgment of the abilities of the many valiant warriors you have on board. You see, I am giving you a chance to save their lives right now. You are an Autobot, so surely you care enough to spare them. 
Hmm. Nah, not really. They can fend for themselves. Any Autobot can defeat you. You overestimate your abilities, and drastically underestimate mine. I can say the same for you. And my crew can easily fend off every last one of you. You can't even control my ship. That's reality, Decepticon. Deal with it. You have a very poor sense of reality, my friend. <laughs> reality is my bitch. Very well, Captain. I had hoped that it would not come to this. But if you cannot take my warning seriously, well, that just makes my job significantly more strenuous. But oh, so much more fun. <laughs> Rally the troops, Magnus, and you better not get my ship scratched. Sir, wow, wow, all your fire, sir, it's just me. You have a hair of knocking? S sorry, sir, I just thought you were resting. Then how's about you, Scrab, before I blow you away? Normally I would, but we got company. Yeah? What kind of company? The Decepticon kind. Ooh. My favorite kind. Jeez, how long does it take to choose a freaking car for? You like swerve on steroids. Chillax, guys, this is my choice. I need to figure out what form Bumblebee chose before I make a final decision. You do realize that you don't always have to look like a replica of your twin, right? I mean, Topspin and I never shared the same form. Even Sideswipe and Sunstreaker never did. It's actually not my choice, really. It's a tradition. Like Starscream Seekers. Only different. Different how? Different as in, shut up. Upgrade complete. Damn, I can't wait to take these wheels for a spin. How do I look? Like an alien. Seriously, you have more red on you than Prime does. Well, I'll take that as a compliment. You are right about the whole alien thing, though. These creatures of the app seriously have a good sense of style. It's called Earth, you moron. Alert! Alert! All security units to your stations. How much you want to bet it's Decepticons? I bet both my legs it's them. Don't be too sure. Last time I ended up being just Magnus pissed about someone. Whatever it is, we gotta move. Let's go. Get ready for war, boys! Today is gonna get messy. Yo, Redfoot! Any idea what all the fuss is about? We're heading up to the bridge to find out. I bet it's the cause. The answer's too obvious to bet on anything, mate. What's holding you up, Cliff? I'm just worried about Bumblebee. We can worry about him later. Now come on! Hey, who's in here? The boss is ordering everyone to come to the main lobby. Come on. Last time I checked, so do you play from the trouble being on my contract. Your contract says to follow orders. How much you gonna pay? You know what? Screw you. Stand rotten there, see if I care. Just give them a quick rundown. Don't tell them more than they need to know. Yeah, yeah, I got it, boss. Alright, boys, listen up. Cause I'm only gonna say this once. In roughly two cycle brains, our ship is going to be boarded by a group of Decepticons led by Megatron's third in command, Galvatron. We're going to act as though we are letting them search our vessel willingly. But I have devised a plan that can ensure the capture of some of these goons. Fort Max back at Garrus 9 will sure be happy to see the likes of Galvatron be locked in that place. I have a question. 
Is there a reason why the Autobots from the other ships aren't coming down to help? Like Clocker, Hound, Warpath, Depth Charge and all the rest? Because the captain of the ship, Commander Rodimus, ordered the other ships to retreat. We're gonna need to fend for ourselves. With all due respect, why can't we call for backup? We ain't gonna question the captain's orders, you understand? Now get to your stations! You wanna tell me what you're up to? Gonna go talk to the rest of the crew on this ship. We're gonna need all the help we can get. Well, I guess so. Since Roddy ain't letting the boys on the other ship out. Yeah. Stupid kid wants to prove that he can do it all by himself. That's all. And since you're okay with it, then. Well, I never said that. We gotta go, Crossy. Do yourself a favor and never call me that again. Guard me. What are you doing? I'm calling for reinforcements from the other ships. Eh, we don't need those guys anyways. Yeah, we can take them ourselves. Back us for losers. Guys, be quiet and Access let me- code denied. Something's blocking off the communications. The cons? No, someone that used this same adjutant did this. You think we got a rat on board? Unfortunate. I was hoping for results, but do not worry. This occasion will suffice. After all, this turn of events shall be far more entertaining for me. And I do so love the show you Autobots put on for us. Damn it, Rodimus. Now he has prisoners. Oh no, Ultra Magnus. I prefer the term guests. You see? These bots behind me are not kept here against their will, on my account. Oh no, my friend. It is you and your twisted pride that keeps them here. And you are the only one that can release them. And I am right now giving you the key. What do you want? Well... Before, I merely wanted you to get out of my way. You impolitely refused my request, so now I am taking matters into my own hands. But there is now another thing I want from you. I want to hear you say you were wrong, Rodimus. That you were wrong that I was incapable of capturing your ship. Oh, and the information on the whereabouts of Optimus Prime and Lord Megatron would be quite nice too. What do you say? <laughs> You still don't have control of my ship completely, Decepticon. I have the high ground. And you, my friend, are not even close to where I am on the ship. You'll never get up here, buddy. Is that right? Transmission ended. <laughs> Man, that guy is a real pain in the diode. Sir, I don't see why you insist on making him more angry. Two reasons. Firstly, it shows their weakness. Secondly, it's just fun, and I just want to. Hope you don't have a problem with that, Magnus. Of course not, sir. Boy, you gotta quit giving him reasons for calling your bluff, man. Ah! Rough, huh? Is that how you Autobots view this? Well then, I guess I have indeed been playing this too easy for you. Best if we amped it up a bit. Dreadwing, bring me the fat one. Which one? That one. No. Don't have slipping in your friend's last memories of you, Autobot. Begging for mercy so much is more fun to watch. No. Pathetic. Let's watch this together, Chromia. We're lucky enough to have a front row seat. Ah! Hey there, sweetheart. Got any plans this evening? Screw off!
Receiving incoming transmission. Hello again, Captain Rodimus. I just thought I'd call you back after you rudely hung up on me. N no. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I forget to mention, every cyber hour that you hesitate to give me what I want, one of your crew members will die. Very, very painfully, mind you. Is this supposed to sway me? Alas. Imagine having your spark ripped out of your chest, but a small amount of cords are still attached to the chamber within you. You would be forced to watch as the one before you holds your spark in his servo, only then to have it slowly squashed until it is nothing more than a small pile of dust and ashes. Over the course of several long, agonizing cycles of torture, imagine the immense agony you would experience. Ah, but it does not stop there, as you slowly black out, and your spark has yet to completely fade away. Your body is unwillingly strung up by the cords of the very ship he once called home. As you fade, you are forced to hang limp, with your innards dripping from that gaping hole that once housed that precious life source, now long lost and never to be reformed. Entirely and quite literally forgotten. A very horrible death. Wouldn't you say, Rodimus? You can kill as many members of my crew as you want, Turmoil, but I will not give you what you want. It truly is a shame that you value your personal pride more than your colleagues. Surely many of them would fight for their lives for you. Does that really in no way matter to you? Cut the transmission. Sir! Do it! Transmission ended. <laughs> and self-pride. I truly do. This is not what I signed up for, Rodimus. War is unfair. That's how life is. We just need to get used to it. I already have. We need to assemble a response plan before we continue losing crew members. Kid, we gotta talk. I'm waiting. You see, my master Galvatron here does not take kindly to procrastination at all. He's gonna have to learn how to have a bit more patience, then. Now doesn't he? Then why not just give us what we want, Vermin? It could save you so much pain. Over my dead body! I do so love it when they say that. That's enough, Oil Slick. I have no time for your games. I want results. And you'll get it, my friend, in time. But Autobots such as this one would let you tear them limb from limb before giving you any ounce of information you require. We must be vigilant in how we perform so as to not misstep ourselves. Are you telling me how to interrogate? Have you forgotten your rank, soldier? On the contrary, sir. I am merely stating what Lord Megatron himself would tell you. As correct as you may be, we still have yet to obtain the information on his whereabouts. Turmoil has returned. We should retreat to a new, more stable location. What of the prisoners here, my liege? Bring them with us, of course! What did you assume we would do? Let them go? These last few cycles, all you've done is get your men killed. An Autobot is dead because of you being pompous. If you ever want to be any kind of leader, you need to take some responsibility when your team is falling apart. You gotta pull yourself together. And what makes you think I haven't been doing anything, old timer? I've been working on making sure the Decepticons never learn the location of Optimus and Megatron. Kid, you're acting unreasonable. Even Prime couldn't single-handedly take down this many Decepticons on his own. I mean it, Cup. I have it covered. 
No, kid, you don't. And letting your friends die for you is just wrong, and you know it. You think Optimus is any better? Or did you forget that he murdered Sentinel Prime in cold blood right in front of me? He was young, much like you are now. He made mistakes. But you gotta think, after you become a Prime, your mistakes are gonna catch up with you, just like Optimus's. I told you, we are keeping our mouths shut about that. No one needs to know that right now. Not until after I'm Prime for a while, anyways. If Optimus wants those mistakes to be made public, it's his choice to make, not yours. The only reason I've kept quiet about it is because I feel it's best right now. Not because you told me to. And as for your so-called plan of revealing his mistakes and ruining his name, what makes you think people won't do the same to you? Well, throttle my tailpipe and call me Prime. Now you listen to me, lad, and you listen good. You keep talking like that, you're gonna get slagged by everyone around you one day. Like I said, your mistakes will always bite you in the diode, even if it takes a millennia to do so. Cup, this is your last chance to shut up. Last chance? Are you threatening me? <laughs> you can't shut me up, lad, and killing me isn't gonna make any of this easier for you. Pro, wait! Is he... Very. If he isn't, a visit to the incinerator room will do the trick. Get in there, Prowl. Do it. Yes, sir. That was... highly uncalled for, Rodimus. Needed to be done. I'm working alongside you. I do not take direct orders from you. So you better think twice before pulling a stun like that again. Hurt? I'm fine. I think it's a scratch. Just give me a second. Yeah. And you wonder why we never let you on the Wreckers team. Shut up, Gotti Brains, Autobot. Swords ain't got crap on armor like this. Ah. I got a pretty first combat experience for you in this new form, huh? I'm still free, you know. We need Eva. Hear what? Exactly. Stay back. They've captured nearly half the ship already. Yeah. Still don't see why Rodimus won't let us call for backup. Well, we don't need it. Snarl, wait! <laughs> Some company. Autobot rules! You're going to pay for what it is over. No, get back here! We gotta get out of here. Come on! Disgusting waste of energy! We have to go now! Now 
after them! Let's get this body stored. We've been ambushed. Rack and roll, boy. Sideswipe! Over here! I got you covered. But you're... you're an Autobot! I am an Autobot, buddy. I'm a wrecker. Seems your buddy Galadron bailed out on you, too. Well, it seems I have been outgunned. Quite unfortunate. Don't move if you know it's good for you, pal. Commander Rodimus. We captured one of them. He tried breaking into the main control panel. Ah, good. Never do that again. Next time you kill someone off like that, and we are going to have some real problems. Hmm. RC? You okay? Oh, uh, yeah. I'm just worried about Chromia. And, and the others too, don't get me wrong, but... <laughs> don't worry, she'll be fine. I promise. Yeah, I know. I just get stressed in these types of situations where we get separated. I once felt that way, but believe me, Chromia can fend for herself. Chromia? Chromia? RC? Chromia? Oh, uh, hey, it's okay. I'm alright. Sorry, I was, I was just so worried. <laughs> Good to see you, Chromia. Yeah. Honestly, it was a little frightening being held hostage by someone from the DJD. Hey, just be glad it wasn't Tarn or Overlord. What did I tell you? If you think this is me defeated, you're in for a treat. <laughs> Get him out of my sight. Feisty little buggers. Or it's a care of them. Is there any more on board? Not that we know of. Any casualties on your end? We lost Obot and Snarl. Damn. We're gonna be shipping out the prisoners to Garrus 9. Can't keep them here. Too dangerous. Oi! Cargo's ready for launch. How much room do we have? We got room for three. You? And me, and one of the others gotta come with. Right. Jackie, come on. We're going. I'm not going. I think you heard me wrong. It wasn't a request, mate. I'll talk to the guy. I'm not going, Leadfoot. Take someone else. Hey, come on, Wheeljack. What's gotten into you? Look, I've been a wrecker for years. And I'm not gonna lie, it's been the worst time of my life. Oh, come on, not now, mate. We can sort this out on the ride over. No, we can't. This can't just be settled. I joined the team to run away from my old life. And lately, I feel like this life ain't what it's all cracked up to be either. You're gonna have to take this up with Impactor. He's the boss around here, not me. Well then, you're now a messenger. Tell him I'm quitting. This ain't how it works, mate. Once a wrecker, always a wrecker. Run away from it all you like, but it'll always catch up to you. What the hell is that supposed to mean? You and I both know what Impactor does to runaways. Is that a threat? Ah, oh, no, no, mate. Think of it as an overly friendly warning kind of thing, you know. Whatever. Just pick someone else, okay? Fine. Be that way then.
He's not coming. Hmm. Twin Twist, you still haven't chosen your Earth mode. You want to hitch a ride? Yeah, I'm down. Wait, 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 wait. You're leaving? Only for a while. We're gonna come straight back after we drop off these cons. But, Earth, we we're gonna explore this world together. And we will. But in due time, alright? I always wanted to visit Garrus 9 anyways. Don't worry, nothing's gonna happen to me. Well, in that case, I will miss you, brother. Yeah, yeah, I'll miss you too. Go have fun on Earth, alright? You better be alive when I get back. Don't you end up dying on me. Oh, come on, you know me. Nothing's falling up my tailpipe. Right. Well, I'll be seeing you then. Wreck and roll! Yeah, wreck and rule. second yeah of course what's wrong red alert and evac are missing and three decepticons are still running around in the ship i don't know if anyone noticed in the commotion but i did and you're not mentioning this to rodimus no we're not no offense but i don't trust his judgment sideswipe if you want me to come with you you're gonna have to ask me you're okay with that right yeah, let's go. You lost, purple guy? What the? Evac, I need you to run. I can handle them. I'm not leaving you behind. Quick, gushing around and fight me like an Autobot. Stand down, or I'm blowing your brother's brains all over this room. What the hell are you doing? You're bluffing. You're an Autobot. Autobots don't do that. Try me. Come on, Dreadwing. Don't fall for it. Red, don't. Let him go. Skyquake, don't do it. Stuck. Stand down. I got you covered. Autobot scum waste my time. <gasps> oh! Ow! What the heck's going on? Feels like someone just tore my hand off. Do you think Alita One's in trouble? Maybe. I think we need to go find her. I couldn't agree more.
Alita! RC? Upgrade complete. No! I believe that's it. Longarm took them. And we never saw either of those cons since. Red came here months ago with some of you. But I stayed back with the rest of us because of Rodimus's orders. Now looking back, I really wish I had been there. I wish we had all been here sooner. We could have stopped all this madness. Honestly, I felt like I could barely do anything that day. Longarm was completely out of control. The feeling's mutual. It's hard to think about what we all could have done. I, I wish I could have done more. Anyways, I think we ought to go now. We've spent enough time here. We need to get back to work. And may these four fallen warriors live on in us. And may their deaths not be in vain. Is he... dead? No, he's alive. Barely, though. Thought I said I didn't want anyone in my room! Guess this one didn't get the memo! Longarm? Has he finally decided to show up? Yeah, it wasn't exactly my choice. Shame that one died. He's alive, actually. Oh, really? Well then, let me change that! Hey! Put the gun down, Longarm. We're not killing anyone right now. Fine. What the hell is that about? Well, look at who decided to become the hero around here. Don't think I don't recognize that arachnid stare behind those cutesy, attractive little eyes of yours, Pinkie Pie. Uh, what's he talking about? He's drunk, RC. Just ignore him. Alright. So where are we going to take him? Not we! Me! I'm taking them. Prowl's orders. The where and why is classified. I'm being paid to do this, so I'm going to take this extra seriously. His body put itself into an active stasis lock. Yeah, I don't really care. Poor kid wanted to kill himself. 
Selfish bastard. Totally didn't even do it right, too. Are you seriously making a joke out of this? It ain't a joke, boy. It's my opinion. Unless you pay me to agree with you, I ain't changed my mind. Well, for heaven's sake, I'm out of here. Yeah. RC? What is it? Does it still hurt? <laughs> it got cut off. It doesn't hurt now. Don't worry. I'm just... Lately I've been feeling afraid. Like, I'm gonna lose you one day. No one lives forever, and hearing about Obot and Snarl, and how they just died when they were living normal lives moments before, just... I'm just scared. RC, honey, look at me. I'm not going anywhere, okay? I'm always going to be a part of you. Even if one of us one day steps into the afterspark. No matter what, we will always be together forever. We will never be apart. I will always be with you. Always. Long arm. What'd you want? Listen, I don't care who you think you are or what screwed up past you had that made your head so hollow and empty. But you will do well to never speak of suicide like that again. If you do, I'll kill you. I don't care how awesome and powerful that gun of yours is. I will not let you talk like that in front of my sisters again. Ever. Do you hear me? Uh, yeah. And one last thing. Never mention who she was in the past to her again. She doesn't remember that part of her life. No one does. And you better keep it that way. You have all the bodies? Yeah, just like you asked. How much you gonna- accept 50 hundred credits. Both for this, and for keeping your silence about this. Yeah, sure, I'll take that. Good. We don't need this getting public. Since the others already left for Garrus 9, we're going to need to dunk these ones. Roger that. And what about him? Never mind him. You've done your part. Now I believe you can go. Sure. Have a good time killing a fellow Autobot, bud. And the next thing I know, I'm on Earth. Starscream repairs me, and Megatron gives me commands like I never left. No one asks me what happened to Dreadwing, or how I got here, or why I don't act all tough like I used to. I never said anything to anyone, except Starscream. And you know the worst part? I've been working for Starscream and the rest of you because he claims he can bring him back. And none of the Decepticons even notice I'm even gone half the time I'm with you guys. Being a double agent. It's like, no one even cares. Hmm. Now I wonder what odd circumstances brings you here, Skyquake. We found him near the camp. He hasn't woken up. Good. Make sure to keep it that way. And if he tries to escape, put a bullet in his brain. We need him, because if all goes well, Skyquake becomes a valuable ally. So, do you feel better now? Thinking about them and all? Yeah. Yeah, a little. Thanks, Cliff. It means a lot. You talking to me helps me clear my head. Yeah. Whenever you need me, I'm always here. Yeah, I hear that a lot. 
Really? Well, I mean it, RC. Yeah, I know. I hear that a lot, too. So, yeah, that's... Uh, that's what I remember. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Unless you want to hear what Skiz did to the vehicle that we found in the halls a few nights later. Sounds rough, bud. Oh, it was rough, all right. Damn it, Mudflap. Hey, I'm just saying. What the hell are we even doing? No, seriously, what the hell are we doing? We're just sitting here, talking about old stories that mean nothing. Springer, chill out. Chill out? It's below zero degrees on this Primus Forsaken Moon, and with no Energon reserves, we're practically starving to death while the Autobots on Earth sit back and do nothing. What are we even doing here anymore? What use is it to fight if we can't even move more than a few yards away without bending over in pain? Springer, I get you upset, kid, but yarn about ain't gonna do nothing for either of us. Well, what will do something for us then, huh? What do we do, Ironhide? We're all dying out here. Pasha! Ah, you alright? Yeah. Just a scratch. My liege. <laughs>